Well, did you get the answer to this week's sporting question mark? I asked the guys out there and nobody knew and they all work in television, so that's uh, really embarrassing. Anyway, after the break, join Casey Kasem counting down America's top ten. <laughs> Eddie Cochran. How to get to Eddie Cochran? I remember, I blew practically every penny on this just knock 'em dead wardrobe. So that night I said, a lot of good you did me, fellas. I just put on my Levi's and a sweatshirt and went down to that party. I remember how embarrassed I was. But Eddie asked me to stay. If spots made them hide, what could make them turn round in just five days? Ask at your pharmacy for new Clearasil acne treatment. It's effective. Ask at the pharmacy counter. Exchange and more. It gives you more clout. Good morning and welcome to Late Night Late. We'll be giving the results of Asking Live in something like half an hour's time, but we haven't finished yet, so if you haven't phoned in, then please still do so. Once again, this is the proposition. To cut down on youth alcoholism, it's essential that next week's budget increases alcohol drink prices by at least 20%. All right, these are the numbers to call in on. If your answer to that is yes, then phone in on 0898... One, two, one, double, three, zero. And if your answer is no, the number to call is 0898 one, two, one, three, six, zero. As it stands at the moment, it's a ratio of four to one people saying no. So if you want to change that, it's uh, completely upturned the result we had earlier on in the evening. So if you want to make your voice heard, then please call in on those numbers. Now, it's not often that I do something twice uh, in a row, but uh, I had my arm twisted earlier on this evening by uh, David Lewis, who's president of Project 16 Film Society at Christchurch College in Canterbury. He says, I'm writing to ask you to mention an event which is happening at our college on March the 15th, which is next Tuesday. Derek Jarman is going to be talking in the new lecture theatre about his films. Now, a little trivia quiz uh, for you now. Uh, Derek Jarman, although he's obviously well known for his films, he did make a pop video. Do you know for which group he made that pop video? I'll be telling you in, in about half an hour. First though, Casey Kasem. Dug in for a second week with his third post wham number one, Father Figure. Can he figure on a third week? Or is Rick Astley, who was at number two last week, headed for the top with Never Gonna Give You Up? From Hollywood, it's America's Top Ten with Casey Kasem. The only weekly countdown of the top hits on Billboard's Pop Chart. You'll see the hottest videos in the land, along with extra reviews of the tops of all the charts. Plus, exclusive interviews and special inside looks at the world of popular music. Now, our review of the biggest songs in the USA for the week ending March 13th, 1988. Here's our host, Casey Kasem. Thank you, Charlie, and hello again, everybody. Welcome to America's Top Ten. Now, here we go with this week's survey. I want to grow up in a place where people don't mug other people. I want to grow up where kids don't sniff glue. I want to grow up in the street where my grand can open the front door without being frightened. No one breaks in our house and steals our things. I want to grow up on an estate where the big kids don't go around smashing things up and where my sister can walk home safely without being worried by horrible men. I want to grow up on a Is this too much to ask? A lot of people think it isn't. Without the radio getting nicked. People are already working together to crack crime. Why not join in? Start here. This book is full of ideas to help you, the police, all of us protect our family, our property, our community. Phone 01 200 1000 for your free copy now. Please, 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 please. Crime. Together we'll crack it.
And America's Top Ten continues. Now, before we get to the new number one song in the land, let's count down the top ten movies in America over the past. I can't believe it. Casey Kasem earns over three million dollars a year and he buys jumpers like that. I don't know. After the break, the Asking Live results. Join us in a moment.